Hello love bugs, it's me Loverly. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a lovely day. Today I am back again with another build video. So at the time of the recording this, it is pretty late. It's at, on June 1st. I was hoping to get this video out by today. It probably won't make it, but I do want to make this um, video for you guys to see what I've built. So this is kind of like, I guess you would call it my second, technically it's my second um, build video uh, from the Eco Lifestyles pack or built for the Eco Lifestyles pack I should say. Um, basically I wanted to make this awesome community garden and I got this idea. It ends up turning out, it actually kind of turns into more of like a town hall area like a big park out front and so it's kind of fun um, I can definitely see my sims using this build for sure um, but yeah just so you guys know I stream this over on my twitch channel twitch.tv slash loverly just like it's spelled here so l-o-v-e-r-r-l-e-e -E -E. don't forget there's two r's or else it's not me um, but yeah over on my twitch channel twitch.tv slash loverly I stream this and actually stream um, I'm pretty much streaming now I'm really trying to stream every day um, Monday through Friday I should say Monday through Friday every week I do take the weekends off now but yeah that's actually a lot better than I used to stream I used to only stream like occasionally like um, maybe every Friday and then it turned to like every other Friday and sometimes not at all and yeah um, like this last half, uh, <laughs> the, you know, the first half of 2020, as we all know, has been pretty cray cray. And so I haven't, even, I didn't even stream like the first half of 2020, but I'm back in it happier and for it and thriving and like just excited to keep streaming because uh, I really did miss it. And I've been having a lot of fun over there. I've been streaming the Sims 4, like I like streaming a lot of Sims 4 builds. I actually just recently looked at my playlist. I made a bunch of playlists of the different like things I streamed and I stream, I mean, I think I've only, well, besides like 24 hour or 12 hour, I mean, I don't think I've ever done 24 hour. Uh, besides a 12 hour stream, excuse me, um, I pretty much, have only exclusively streamed The Sims 4, um, except for like I said, occasionally like I'll stream a random other game, like a like a horror game or something, a scary game around Halloween or something like that. But yeah, um, anyway. <laughs> but lately, I've been really enjoying like streaming builds, and I have a whole playlist of builds again over on my Twitch channel. So I made that and then also I've been streaming a ton of Animal Crossing so uh, this week alone um, my it's Wednesday so yeah Monday Tuesday and Wednesday I stream nothing but Animal Crossing so if that's the game you're interested in it's something I haven't really uploaded over here on this YouTube channel but uh, just so you know again go follow me over on twitch.tv slash loverly and um, for some awesome Animal Crossing content. Yeah, um, I just hit 400 followers over there as well. I, I hit 420 followers, excuse me. I hit 420 followers over there, which is now more than my YouTube channel. So that's kind of fun. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of trying to, you know, let people know, hey, I have both. <laughs> I do do both. Um, but yeah, so I, like I said, I've been having tons of fun streaming over there. And yeah, um, I plan to stream more, more builds like this. So like I said, this is a community garden. <laughs> um, I've kind of just been talking this whole time over what I've been doing, but yeah, I wanted it to be like more than just a community garden space. So I want it to be like a public park. I have this big, you know, open area over here for like eating, like, um, what would you call that? Kind of like a food court, I guess, sort of like food from around the world. Then you have the voting uh, place in the middle there that's very important um, and we also have you know so it's sort of like the recreational side and then like the community garden side so on the left looking at it or sorry the right on the right we have the playground for the kiddos 
uh, basketball courts, and then we also have a, um, a roller rink slash ice skating, depending. Um, you can always change it in between the two. They're interchangeable because they're like the same size. So if it's like winter, we can make it into an ice skating rink. And then, um, yeah, and then, like I said, on the left side, we have the actual community garden space, which actually works. People come and plant. I did not know that they would do that, which is awesome, though, because that way uh, my Sims, uh, who I have been playing occasionally, I started a Let's Play. I do want to get back to playing with them, the um, Eco Lifestyles um, Sims, my LP for that. I have been playing with them. I actually upload a video. So you can check that out probably in the end card here or um, just in my past videos. I made the Leah, Leah and Leo greens um, cast and then I made their, their build. But I still have not uploaded, guys. I'm so sorry. I still have not uploaded the Let's Play over here on YouTube. So again, if you want to watch that, you can go over to twitch.tv slash loverly and see it there and it's all in a playlist over there as well so you can look at the past stuff but anyway what i was trying to say was that like so i just realized that i had literally so many hours of um you know <laughs> old lps on on twitch and old um you know builds and so now it's all organized it's all put into collections so uh, playlist so you can go over there and search that if you like the old builds but of course they're also up here on YouTube in speed build form so I got them as different ways <laughs> but anyway uh, we're finally into the interior here I'm working on the decoration so upstairs this room this building was it's pretty much just like a bathroom's room now um, <laughs> this uh, these stairs let me tell you these stairs were kind of a headache honestly um this is really the first time i think i've really done something really fun and like kind of creative with the stairs staircases so i kind of wanted them to you know be toward the back i don't know about you guys but i've seen like old buildings like this by the way like i said this kind of turns into like an uh you know a parks and rec or like a town hall type of building and um it just gave me these you know like the show park and rec vibes um uh, trying to use like all this wood paneling and like old wooden doors and old like old railing and yeah so like this shape here that we ended up getting it's kind of like an X but and I really wanted to get rid of that you know the bar in the in between but because I put two um, you know <laughs> because I put two um, staircases together it automatically did that so I couldn't get rid of the railing because you can only either have or you don't have railing unfortunately uh, so you can't get rid of them in certain spots oh now this guys this made me sad I might actually in my version go and put this back because the thing was I was really really trying to build this with only a few packs in mind and of course I always make an exception so it ended up being something like five packs plus like five expansion packs plus um, a stuff pack which for me and like no game packs for me that's really good because I am so bad when it comes to just wanting to build which is like put everything just just use everything use everything from every pack so um, I don't know exactly how many packs I ended up using but believe me it was limited because like I said I kept trying to um, stick to just um, especially eco lifestyles um, was the main one, you know, so obviously base game, eco lifestyles, those are the two big ones. Um, and then I end up using romantic garden stuff. So that's the stuff pack that kind of was like, I knew I wanted romantic garden stuff. Um, but then, yeah, I end up using like, I think it was university. Uh, what was it? Island living was it Island living. No, not Island living. I've already forgotten. Sorry guys. Uh, so it was definitely city living. There's some city living stuff. Uh, but yeah, like I said, that's all online in, in on the gallery, so you can check the packs. But I really was trying to limit it. I promise. I was really, really trying to limit it. <laughs> so anyway, like I said, um, the idea was that this is sort of like an 
you know, like an old kind of office building, like a parks and rec department or something. That's why I put someone's office up here. So it's like one man, you know, research office. Um, and then down here, you've got a couple receptionists to kind of like answer questions if they have any like problems with the park, you know, like, I don't know what, like a piece of a park equipment's broken or you know oh someone's stealing my vegetables in the vegetable garden or I don't know whatever they would need you know so we will I'm using my imagination right we use our imagination when we play the sims so yeah that's sort of the idea right is that like there'd be like office people and these people love to answer any gardening questions you have so that's why they have all varieties of pl flowers and plants uh, behind them so they've just like put a million flowers of different varieties and things that you know you can imagine is being grown outside um, back there behind their desk and yeah oh also this place has an observatory so yeah like I said there's a research center person who's studying like maybe plants I don't know but then also it's like an observatory at the top I don't really know why it's just that like I said I kind of base this off of like city hall buildings or like capitol buildings and they always have that like center round like top to them and I just thought how funny would it be if you just put like you know an observation tower up there um and so I did it I made it happen <laughs> Uh, now this is fun. This is actually, I built a little kindergarten, not a kindergarten, sorry, like a daycare center. Um, because the idea was that, um, you know, they would be holding like, uh, town hall meetings here. And so they would need, um, you know, a place to drop off the kiddos so that all the adults, yeah, you can see that all the adults can go and do the town hall meeting. So, um, it was a lot of fun actually I think I did a pretty good job with the layout here trying to put all the matching furniture you know and yeah I can just imagine like this would be like a fun you know it's not really functional unfortunately because daycares aren't technically even a thing in this but it is a good place to drop your little one if they're fussy you know here and then like the bigger kids can go still play on the playground so yeah this this lot is definitely fun for the whole family um, and I really love the theme I ended up going here. So again, because like I'm imagining this place as like a parks and rec type of office with like town hall meetings and things. Um, I ended up going for like a woodland theme. And I don't know if you guys caught it, but I was trying to put out that one of those rugs. It like there's an actual rug in the game that has like the cutest like um, woods like pattern on it. But then I realized, oh man, I can't use... Um, the the camping stuff what was what is that called again outdoor retreat stuff i can't use that so i think i did pretty good again trying to limit my packs and then i found these motivational posters which i just thought were hilarious because again those motivational posters are totally remind me of like ron swanson but like opposite of ron swanson you know <laughs> um man i haven't seen parks and rec forever but I miss that show that's that's a good one that's a that's a definitely a re-binge kind of show I think I this this honestly is just making me want to like rewatch the show oh yeah and then I had um like a fun idea I was actually using oh yeah here's where I really wanted to put a mini fridge in the back office um but it didn't fit so oh well. <laughs> I eventually got something to work but yeah um I was actually proud of the way I've put those pillars on either side those planters and then in between I got the romantic garden stuff uh, bench all along there so I think the front I think this build turned out really good I always say that about my builds but I really do so here are the screenshots now now keep in mind it's kind of like dark and drab just because it is winter for my sims but I think this turned out to be like a really cool looking community space and I know my sims are gonna spend so much time here so yeah this is the playground where all the kids can um, hang out. And then there's basketball court, get your athletic skill up here. And then like I said, back behind there is uh, the rollerblading rink slash, again, you can always switch it into uh, ice skating if it's your winter time, which I'm gonna do after, after I took these screenshots. Yeah, and then we've got the food court and those, I think if you change the lot type, you can, 
have those all open. I'm not sure which lot type you need. But then this is a pretty front entrance. I'm really happy with the way this like front office turned out because for most people this is all they they would be like here and be like where's your bathroom and then they go up the stairs here and like I said see either side there's bathrooms so this is what it looks like when you're walking up the stairs you can see down below which I think looks really cool and then both bathrooms look the same on either side so you've got just like this nice beige like I don't know it just reminds me of old office bills I don't know how to describe it like all the old wood and like the beige everywhere yeah and oh I did use towels because because the other stuff the other off um hand drying stuff is like what is that called it's from um, a pack I couldn't use. So yeah, anyway, that was the office. That was like the research lab. And now this is a cool thing. I stuck this here and it is usable. This is a robots lab. So it's kind of like secret, right? And then you got also a secret observatory up here. But yeah, um, so the idea was that, you know, for eco lifestyle, I was like, you know what? They're just going to use a bunch of towels and hampers because um, apparently you have to have get to work in order to have like public restroom like hand dryers and hand soap and stuff but anyway um now here's the debating area i did move this forward a little bit because they were kind of glitching into the wall so just so you know if you download that you can move that forward a little bit and then this is a daycare that lady was like leaving the daycare and i thought she kind of looked like a daycare provider so i took a picture of her but I love how the little woodland theme turned out. I got the little bear chairs. I got all the trees in the sky. I think it turned out pretty cute. Yeah, and then this is just what it looks like outside in the like public garden area. You do have a recycler area. You do have a wishing well if that's if that interests you at all. And to my surprise, people were already using these. So that was cool. And then this is the bug room, I call it. The bees and the um, the bug boxes, and there's also a flower arranging stand in there as well. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's on the gallery under hashtag loverly or my EAID, The Last Love Bites. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and comment and subscribe and have a lovely day.